coat and saves her fights fights hard for his queen. He always wanted to die for his queen, and you know, in this in this t- in this point, he does die for his queen after multitudes of um, stab wounds from the the White Walkers. But she um, he did save her life. Um, he did save her life, and you know, that was that was great on her part. And you know, um, Bergdon Darien also died, sacrificed himself to keep the White Walkers away from uh, away from Arya and Kagane, the Hound. And um, now we get to the scene that I, that, I, that I like, that I loved also, in which we're in the, now in the Godswood. It's the final, final, ba- final time, final battle between Night King and Bran. Bran gets out of his work work state, and then. He's him and it's just him and Theon in the in the God's Wood. And and Bran was explaining to, explaining to um Theon that, you know, Theon was trying to apologize for what he did to did to them when they were younger, uh taking over the attack their castle while they were young. And Bran calmly just told him, you know, there's nothing to be sorry about. Everything everything that you did brought you here, brought you home. And then um, Theon, you know, got rised up, had all the motivation in the world to um, to do what he got to do to protect Bran. He he ran out of arrows. He used the last staff with dragon glass staff, and he was taking down mo- almost all those White Walkers. And then just when um, Theon faced off against the Night King, and um, Bran told told Theon, "Listen, Theon, you're a good man." And from there, I knew I know Theon was done. He charged at the Night King. He charged right at them, and um, you know what happens. Night King kills. He kills Theon, which I felt bad. Which is that was that was another death between him and Jorah Mormont. Those deaths pretty shocked me because I thought they had a role, role to play in the battle for King's Landing later on in in this season, uh, but now they're they they're, their watch is over, as they say. You know, so as the lawyer said, his watch is over. So, um, the Night King. Now, I thought I thought for sure Bran was going to be dead too. And then, like when you see Night King slowly walk up to the Bran and get ready to pull out his ice sword to kill Bran once and for out the God's word. And out of nowhere, shocked everybody, Arya comes out from the trees and lands on the Night King's um, shoulder, and he grabs her by the throat. Turns her around. I thought she was dead too, but her skills as a faceless man. She took her Valyrian dagger, dropped it out of her left hand, caught it with her right hand, and stabbed the Night King in the heart. And boom, Night King dies, as well as all his troops of White Walkers. And which a shock was a shock to me. It wasn't a shock to me that she did it, but one thing Melisandre said. She said, "You're gonna kill, you're gonna kill some people," and that she saw brown eyes. Red eye, brown eyes, um, red eyes, and and then when she said blue eyes, I didn't know I didn't know to that point that she meant the Night King and she killed the Night King. You see everybody crumbling down, all the white, white walkers crumbling down, and stuff like that. So the end of the battle. Also during the battle, Tyrion was be Tyrion was um, trying to protect Sansa and everyone in the crypt. While he was being drunk. Typical Tyrion. He wanted to go out there and help. But his mind helped. You know. Save everyone in the the crypt. Even though they did lose some people in the crypt. He. um, Helped everybody. Everybody. um, Help. He helped everybody see. See everything through. And. um, The Theon's dead. You know what I'm saying. The one one thing I said earlier in the episode. Is that I don't, don't know if Ghost is dead. But I hope he's not. But. Um. Ray Gal's dead. Um, it's just Drogon left. He Drogon's the only dragon left, and so I'm anxious to see what the next episode looks um, looks like. And also, I'm definitely this is just a part one of the recap. I'm, my next, the next, part, the part two will be with my with my guest, my man Joey G from Joey Joey G Radio. We're gonna do a part two of the recap. Also, so definitely stay tuned for that. And. Um, What's next? What's next? Now it's time to head to King's Landing and take down Cersei. That's what's next right now. 
So before before I stop before I stop the pod before I end, end this part of the podcast, I want to say to you, um say to say to um I want to send my condolences out to um John Singleton's family. Um, today he was sent off life support, and he passed away from a stroke in California, which you know could have been prevented had they uh, diagnosed it and caught his stroke symptoms in time. Um, it's very important when you see someone have stroke symptoms. It's very important important. To have to catch the symptoms in time before they end up in a in a state that they need that, that they only only can survive on life support. The only uh, if it's talking if we're talking about blood clot uh, uh, a stroke caused by blood clot, it's four to six hours for them to administer a clot busting medication. If it's a bleed, you know they don't have much long. They have to seal that bleed up, depending how much of a bleed it is, to to stop that bleeding. But like I said, my condolences go out to John Singleton and his family. Um, I know it was a tough period of tough time. I know my mother, um, that's one of the reasons why my mother passed away six months ago was because of a stroke that was left undetected, was not detected in time. And it always seems to happen to people of color that the strokes are never seem to be caught in time. They let it, let it um, manifest to a point that it is, is at the point of return to um, try to cure it. But once again, it's your man Big Dunn coming live, coming live at you with the True Players Podcast. Um, if you have any comments about the episode, please comment me. Uh, send me emails at trueplayerspodcast at gmail.com. That's T-R-U-P-L-A-Y-A-Z podcast at gmail.com. Like my page on Facebook with the same spelling. And I'm on Google Google, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, iHeart. On Spotify, definitely hit me, listen to me on any, any one of those stations. All right? Uh, once again, guys, I'm going to hit you over to part two with my man Joey G. I'll hit you later. Peace.